There are three olive oil extraction techniques, the traditional system, the continuous three-phase system and the continuous two-phase system. The traditional press system is based on extraction by pressure and is the oldest known. The olives are milled in a stone mill after being cleaned and rinsed. The olive paste is then laid out on discs of filtering material, either fabric or plastic fibre, called pressing mats. These mats are usually piled on top of each other in a wagon and pressed by a hydraulic press. The generated liquid is a combination of olive oil and vegetable water. Natural decantation or settling in tanks is used to separate oil from water, followed by a purification stage using a centrifuge. The continuous three-phase system was introduced in the 70s and uses horizontal centrifuges called decanters instead of traditional hydraulic presses, which considerably improved the performance and productivity of the olive mills. This method of continuous extraction requires prior milling, just as the traditional one. After the milling is done with hammers or discs, the remaining paste is sent to a horizontal centrifuge, where three phases are separated, the pomace, the oil and the vegetable water. The consumption of water in this system is notably higher than in other techniques, generating a large amount of vegetable water. The continuous two-phase system produces almost no vegetable water, since it eliminates the addition of water to the decanter, which is modified to generate two outputs, the olive oil and the wet pomace. Jordan produce 180,000 tons of olive, uh, from which we produce 29,000 tons of olive oil. 80% of the olive oil produced used for local consumption, and the rest is export to other countries. When olive is pressed, there is two major components, which is solid waste and vegetation water. These waste or effluents constitute environmental hazards to the groundwater, surface water, and to the soil if they are spread without any treatment. In Jordan we have 112 mills. 92% of these mills are modern mills, which is two-phase and three-phase, and this is than 7% traditional mills. We selected the olive mills to be uh, um, environmentally audited, uh, representing different technologies, uh, traditional pressing techniques, the three-phase 
decanting uh, olive mills, which are about 50% uh, of the olive mills in Syria. We had only a few olive mills operating in the two-phase decanting. We performed the environmental auditing, we visited the mills and we took samples to calculate and to, to, to measure the concentration of the pollution loads and by the end of the environmental audits we had a full report about the performance and how can we improve the environmental performance of these audited mills. And we also calculated the pollution loads to uh, that reaching the environment all over the country, resulting in the operation of these olive mills and the complementary industries. In the end, we found that we had several procedures that we should follow to reduce the pollution load to the environment. We also conducted uh, during the first and uh, second phase of this project uh, what we can say that about the environmental legislation in the country and what are the laws which governs the uh, discharge of pollutants from this industry. So we compiled these laws and we now are setting the standards and we will present them to the government to adopt the new standards and legislation that can control this industry. One of the major output also of the project is the, that we have a pilot project, pilot plant for the treatment of olive mill wastewater. A mobile treatment plant will be used at several mills in the coastal region, demonstrate its capability of treating olive mill wastewater and then treating this water before discharging it to the environment or even using it for washing purposes within the mill itself. So this will reduce the consumption of water and it will be like a cleaner production option for the mills.